Lee Iacocca was a powerhouse in the automotive industry. He was one of the big names to be sure and also one of the few people that would actually lead two of the big three automakers at the time. He was credited for the development of the Ford Mustang, a vehicle that's still made today and one that has stood the test of time. He would work for the Ford Motor Company for quite a while. He was with Ford from 1946 to 1978. He would go to Chrysler in 1978 and would revive the company. He was with Chrysler until his retirement in 1992. In addition to leading the auto industry, he would also co-author a few books. President Reagan would even appoint him as the head of the Statue of Liberty Ellis Island Foundation, which was established to raise funds for the restoration of the Statue of Liberty. He was actually still on the board at the time of his death. He was also involved in charities and fundraising campaigns. On July 2nd, 2019, Lee Iacocca passed away at the age of 94 from Parkinson's. We are back today in Whitechapel Memorial Cemetery in Troy, Michigan. We have several videos from this same cemetery and it is one of the larger cemeteries in the Detroit area when it comes to notable burials. I really enjoy visiting this area. Just so much history in and around this part of Michigan. Lee Iacocca is one of the big names in automotive history and being in the Detroit area, well, it's a must visit for me and the channel. If you like famous grave visits, cemetery tours, history videos, you're on the right channel. Please click subscribe and join us. We are a family of almost 50,000 now, and I'd love for you to join us on our journeys and be part of our Whit Docs family. I appreciate you all. Once again, from Whitechapel Memorial Cemetery in Troy, Michigan, I will see you again soon.